When you have customer jobs that require tracking both income and expenses, you can create and assign jobs and subaccounts to your sales and purchase transactions. To access the job record setup and inquiry, you can open the job costing module either from the left side module list or from the top edit menu and the job costing selection. From here, a list of jobs and their estimated and actual amounts is displayed. New jobs can be created from scratch or copied from existing jobs, optionally along with other job information, or you can edit jobs for review. Each job has an address and set of contacts available, often from the customer, though it doesn't have to be. On the Accounts tab, you can create multiple processes within a job that are estimated and accounted for separately. Each job account can have different starting and ending dates, estimated income, cost and hour spent, and communication notes. When any transactions that reference this job and account are posted, the actual values are updated and display here along with the estimated values to give a current variance to date. The Details tab displays totals for all job account estimated and actual amounts, and you can also enter the starting and ending date for the overall job, contract information, and the status of the job being active, completed, or on hold. If any transactions have been posted for this job, they will be listed on the Entries tab, where you can see the account numbers, transaction sources, dates, and amounts. You can display a subset of these entries by using filter criteria, or export the grid to an Excel spreadsheet for distribution or analysis. You can also create ad hoc job entry transactions, either from here or the main job costing toolbar. On the job entry screen, select the job and account, then specify the transaction date and any of the hours spent, expense, or income amounts. Multiple job account entries can be created together and posted to update the respective jobs. There are a number of ways to assign transactions to jobs in other modules. For material expenses, you can create a purchase order, and for each item purchased, you can assign the necessary job account. If most or all items will go to the same job account, you can first set this on the Job tab so that adding a new item will automatically get this account. When recording labor hours and expenses for a job, within the payroll module and time card entry, the pay code area allows assigning a job account to each code, and the associated hours and amount will update the job when posted. And the accounts payable module allows creating a job entry similar to what can be done in the job costing module except that a foreign expense value can be entered and there's no place for entering income. On the income side of job tracking, sales orders work similarly to purchase expenses. Each sales order detail can have job accounts assigned to them for allocating revenue, and a job tab allows setting a default job account for new details. In addition, a job header description can be added within the detail section so that items can be grouped with section headers on printed forms. And the Accounts Receivable module allows creating a job entry similar to what can be done in the Job Costing module, except that a foreign income value can be entered and there is no place for entering expenses.